Hey fellow YouTubers, welcome back to another one of my videos. I'm Kevin D, your host. And today I want to discuss with you my upgrades that I made. I replaced the 30 amp MPPT um, charge controller from Lightime with a Victron 150 volts over 35 amp charge controller. And it also has a Bluetooth dongle that I ordered with it. So now I can see my settings all the way in my house. I don't know if you can see that on my phone or not, but there it is. Uh, it is kind of cloudy outside. Well, it's partially cloudy, so I'm not getting a lot of watts into my system. But I'm still using a Lightime battery. I upgraded the battery as well. You see the Victron Solar Charge Controller. And my battery monitor is working. So, for all those that seen two videos ago of me complaining about the battery monitor not working, it's working now. I believe it had something to do with the charge controller giving out bad information. I don't know. I'm still using the 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Let me take off the stand and show you guys. So I'm still using the 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter from Lightime. It's working phenomenally. My battery monitor is back to doing what it's supposed to be doing. There's the charge controller from Victron and I upgraded to the, the Lightime battery and I replaced the Ampere Time Life PO4 12 volt 180 power battery. This battery, guys, has worked great for me. That thing started its life out on my canoe. Um, it was probably on my canoe for about six months, and then it moved to my kayak for probably about another eight or nine months until I bought the trolling motor battery when Lightime came out with the 12 volt trolling motor batteries. They're a lot smaller, still 100 amps, and a lot less weight on the back of a kayak. If you're a kayaker and you know about the weights, weight if you know you know put it that way i'm not gonna go into that but i end up having to replace once again this lifetime charge controller due to the discrepancy in voltage i use a klein multimeter it's an mm450 multi multimeter i got it at lowe's just in case anybody wants to know if i find the link i'll put it in the description i'll put a description for everything that i have up here i'll put a link in the description for everything i have on here and just in case anybody wants to know but I replaced the charge controller because of the 0.2 discrepancy in voltage. It started off at 0.2 back about two or three months ago, and it went from 0.2 to 0.4 voltage discrepancy. I don't know why. I thought it was something I did. So I disconnected my solar panels. I disconnected the battery out. I disconnected the load, and I just let the whole system, I shut the whole system off for 24 hours. I hooked it back up, and I was still having the 0.2 voltage discrepancy. So I found a phenomenal um, tool, if you will, on Facebook. There's a Lie Time Facebook group page. I've been a member of it for a while now, and I finally went on there, and I started asking questions, and I showed my system, and some guys thought that I didn't have the right um, gauge wires, so I went through and re-gauged all the wiring the way it's supposed to be. I used Will Prowse's book, if you know who Will Prowse is. I used his book to make sure all the wiring was um, was the way it's supposed to be. And it still was doing the 0.2 voltage discrepancy. After a couple of weeks of being out here, coming out here, just messing around the shop, I was out here uh, cleaning one of my bang bangs. And I looked over and I saw that the charge controller said 13.4 volts. But then I seen on my pure sine wave inverter that it was at 13 volts. I said, wow, that's weird. That's four volt discrepancy. It's usually only two. So I immediately got my voltmeter out. Um, I pulled the voltage off the battery and it was at 13.0 13 volts as well. And I looked at the charge control, I mean, the, excuse me, the pure sine wave inverter again, it was at 13 volts. And I said, I'm sick of this. And I went on Amazon and ordered the Victron, I've read a lot about them. I've seen a great lot of great reviews. A lot of YouTubers use them and swear by them. So I put my money on Victron this time and I'm going with their product also because they have the um, Bluetooth dongle. I like it because it comes with like a, a four foot cord and it's able to stretch over to the other side, well, halfway to the shed. And if I'm standing in my kitchen window, I can turn my Bluetooth on and I can see it. So I'm happy about that. It's a partially cloudy day out there and the battery is full. The battery's in absorption mode right now. Uh, and it's just doing 60 watts. But if it wasn't in absorption mode, I'm sure it'd be pulling in a lot more wattage than that. 
So I don't know whether too many volts came in through my solar panels. The heat in here when it was 127 degrees that day and rough beer math, I believe that's 51 or 52 degrees Celsius. Um, once again, 127 degrees Fahrenheit and 51 or 52 degrees um, Celsius. It was very hot in here that day. It was so hot that the steering wheel on my lawnmower was sticky. And that was the only reason why I came out here that day is to get my lawnmower out because later that day I wanted to cut the grass. But when I seen that how what the temperature was in here, I immediately opened up both doors and let's let it cool off. I turned one of the fans on. So maybe that could have done it to the charge controller. I don't know. I'm just saying I don't think it was Lightime's fault. I think it was Kevin's fault and that I did something wrong in the very beginning. Because remember guys, this is my first time ever touching solar and you live and you learn, right? And that's probably why you're watching this video so you can learn something off of my solar setup. And before I go, two things. I'm gonna show you my solar setup once again. This is the 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter, 12 volt, v, um, 12 volt 110 to 120 VAC at 60 Hertz. There's the battery monitor that's up and working. Whoever that was that said, hey, it's not your battery monitor, it's not the heat in your shed, it, something else is going on with your system, you're exactly right. There's the charge controller. Here's the new lifetime battery. Here's the old charge controller that I'm replacing. And by the way, if anybody knows how to fix this thing, please leave me a comment or leave me a, a link to a YouTube channel or someplace that tells me what to do with this thing. Because there's got to be a fix for this. Maybe I just got a setting wrong. I don't know. Here's the old Ampere Time battery that I'm um, going to sell to my brother. And here's my shed, guys. I finally finished the insulation on the walls. And was it a hot job? I got all the insulation in. You can see it down there. And I put up OSB board. I still have OSB board laying around here. You can see the insulation at the top. So I'm not lying. And I'll finish the ceiling here in the next couple months. As soon as the weather does cool off. 100 from 100 degrees down to 70 degrees during the daytime and i just remembered something i found out earlier today that my daughter hope is being induced she's having a baby today at 5 p.m indiana time and 4 p.m my time so someplace sometime around 5 p.m to 6 p.m she should be having my granddaughter sylvia shea is what she decided to name her I'm really excited to meet Miss Sylvia. My wife and I will probably venture up to Indiana this weekend and be able to see Hope and our new granddaughter. This is our sixth grandchild. Wow, I'm 50 years old and we have six grandchildren. But anyways, in closing, Hope, I love you. If you see this video, I love you, little girl. Good luck today. Hope everything goes well and I'll see you this weekend. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks for watching my video. May God bless you all. Take care.